Whew, this is gonna be a deep one. <gasps> I'm just kidding. Did you get my message yet? Hello. <laughs> hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. channel. Coral fam, what's up? How are you people doing today? I hope it's excellent. I hope it's correct. Hope you're having a marvelous day. If you don't follow Devin or myself on the gram, go give us a follow. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. on my Instagram, I asked people to send in <laughs> assumptions they have about us. So that's what we're going to get into. Assumption one. We got this assumption the most. It says, you two never argue, y'all never fight, y'all never fight, you never argue. And that is a... You answer it. What were you going to say? I would say that's true. You think we never argue? We argue. I mean, I wouldn't say we argue. We might have like a very small disagreement. Yeah. But we don't really argue and we definitely don't fight. No, no, no. We're ne we never. She's like, no, no, no. We never yell at each other. And no. Stuff. No. Now, in high school, she I, had, me. I kicked, I punched you. Punched, punched me. Remember that? Yeah. But that's because of all evil at all. There's days where we get on each other's nerves more yeah. or so. Yeah. That's but. it, ending why you get on my nerves. That's all of them. <laughs> Do I really get on your nerves? Not every day. Maybe every other day. Are you serious? No. Next question. No, but seriously. Are you serious? No. I'm not. Stop. I'm serious. Just You're messing about to my heart hurts right now. No. Okay. So. But I don't want to make people think that we're perfect because we're not, but we'll no, have little disagreements not. and all yeah. that. Hunter is a vi is very serious most of the time. <clears throat> no. That assumption is false. However, with me on the hand, you're there not serious. You with me, you're really goofy. Right. You know, you are yeah. your full authentic self. Yeah. But put us in a crowd of a room of people, you... A crowd of a room of people? Yeah. You yeah. get real serious. Yeah. Sometimes I'm like, Hunter, you're coming off rude. Well, I've had to start trying to be hate. nicer to people in public because we don't know if some of you people recognize us because we get recognized now. So, so I try to be want, overly nice. He don't want his seriousness of yeah. him. He's not being rude on purpose. Right. You don't want people to bash you and be like, you're a meanie head. It's all a lie. You own a pair of cowboy boots. Yes. Do I? Yes. Are those real? Yes. We both do. Yes. We but I never wear them. Born them like twice. Yeah. Evan is older. Wrong. Wrong. I'm, I was about to say I'm 13. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 23. Yeah. You're 24. Right. I'll be 24 in July. Yes. You love Jesus. Yes. That's a winner. Absolutely How love did you know? Jesus. You waited till marriage. Yes. We also, that is also true. We need to talk about that a little bit though, because that is something that, I don't want to say and make people feel bad if they had it. Right. Like, obviously, sex outside of marriage isn't biblical. Right. But whenever Hunter and I first started dating, I think we shared this in one video, but I'm just going to say it again because so many people have asked about it. When we first started dating, we were like, we never knew the reason really, the real reason we weren't supposed to do that. Right. We just were scared to death that we were going to get in trouble, get pregnant, all those things. It wasn't because our bodies are temples and right. it's a gift and it's supposed to be a beautiful thing. Like sex is, we are sexual beings. So we started our relationship not doing it only for that reason of like, we were just told you don't do it. Uh -huh. Never knew the reason why. Right. It wasn't until like, what, sophomore, junior yeah. year? Yeah. Whenever, I think we probably went to a conference and somebody spoke on it and I was like, huh. And then I started, in small group, we actually dove in to it and like talked about it. And then, yes. then from that point, we were like, okay. We learned. We did. The reason for the season, you know? Yeah, the reason. But, for the season. God offers grace and redemption mercy. and mercy can make you new and purify you. And we're not perfect. We were definitely tempted. We are human beings, right? Yes. Is that what I do? Yes. I know I need to stop. Here. You're preaching. Okay, I know. 
We couldn't have done it alone. We had to have a relationship right. with Jesus. Right. Right. Totes my goats. Okay. Y'all were best friends who secretly, who were secretly in love with each other. True. Wrong. We weren't secretly in love with each other. Everybody knew it. Oh, I misunderstood the question. <laughs> we weren't like the like the movies, like oh they're best friends and then they fall in yeah, love. Yeah, no, we didn't know each other until like we started dating. Like, exactly. We like saw each other and we're like, let's start talking. Right. You know the talking stage. Yeah. The old talking stage. Yeah. You love going to church every Sunday. That's true. Sometimes but we struggle. We do because if he's at work, yeah. I don't. I don't know when by myself to take Ivy. Right. And then sometimes he gets off of work Sunday morning and he had calls all night. So he's like tired. Yeah. So then we'll try to watch it online or something. Yeah. But now that Ivy's at the age that we put her in daycare there, it's going to be easier. We you, do love it. You act the same in person as on camera. Devin, 100%. We just kind of covered this about myself. I'm not this, like, if I know you, like... Like, if I'm, like, to my friends and everything, then I'll be, like, a little goofy or whatever. But, like, if I don't know you, I'm not going to act like mm -hmm. that, you know? Like, a lot of people probably you work with see our videos and they're like... Yeah. But it's not you faking. It's your real self. You're just quiet in front of yeah, other people. Right. You're more serious. Yeah. I just bring out the goofy in them. Your big foodies. Most events planned around what, where, when you'll eat. That is 100%, 100%. the case. That is a great assumption about us. It is. I don't know how you figured that out, but you are absolutely correct. Yeah. Like, I don't miss meals. It's just, just not right. going to happen. No, and like, when we're, like, we're going to California, right? Yeah. We shared that with you all. Like, we're already trying to. Trying to figure out where we're going <laughs> to eat. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah. So, we're trying to figure out where to eat in California already. This person said that you go out to eat a lot for meals or drinks like coffee. Mm. I would say a lot. Not a lot. If We've been we do, posting on our stories like more. going to get coffee. We don't more. necessarily go out and eat a lot. I cook every day. Yeah. We eat, like we really, we eat dinner here every night. Mostly. Yeah. Always breakfast here. Only lunch is when we'll really go out and it's yeah, always Yeah, we go to Chick-fil-A like, like, sometime. <laughs> like maybe like once a week. Yeah. But this past week we kind of did eat out more. Yeah. yeah. We usually go to Chick-fil-A like once a week and then on the weekends we'll eat out. After church like, we'll eat out. Yeah, we usually he's... eat out after church. You didn't mean to get pregnant so early in life. It was... It, it was, was planned. It was planned. Yeah. Avi was planned. We initially thought we were going to wait. Oh, longer. we were really surprised. Shocked. Yeah. It was planned, but it was like we hadn't been trying long at all. Wait, one month. The first yeah. month. Yeah. I say that. I know so many people struggle and my heart truly <clears throat> goes out to you. Yeah, for sure. Well, Devin is the messy one. That is not true. Are you? Hunter is the messy one here. <laughs> Hunter is, y'all, he is bad. Like, the things you see in movies about guys just being slobs and stuff, he is so nasty. When are you going to tell him you're talking about yourself? I'm, okay. I was kidding, but I'm not nasty. You're not nasty, but you are very messy. I, I'm not messy. I'm you're a very not, clean person. Mm -mm. I'm not talking about dirty. I'm okay. not saying you're dirty. I'm saying you're messy. Mm -hmm. Like, not organized. I love being organized. I thrive on organization. You love organizing the cabinets under the sink. You love organizing the pantry straightening up the refrigerator trying to make it look all pinterest cute yep but now when you walk in our bedroom it's hard for me to hang up my stuff after i try yep. on a million things you're not too messy but it's just your socks you know socks. i promise no probably not because we did laundry today but if today was a laundry day there would be at least three pairs of socks on your side of the bed <laughs> hunter's best subject in school was history and devon's was science was yours right? No. Uh, which was yours? Math. I loved math and science. I liked history too, but... I hated history. I'm terrible with history. Could have been better. Could but been now better. I wish <clears throat> I would have paid more attention. Yeah. Because she's always asking me questions like... That every American should know, basically. Oh well. Honor likes to save the piggy bank and Devin wants to smash it. What would you say? Um... I feel like we both, we're literally the same person when it comes to that kind of stuff. We are. We want to spend it, but we yeah, don't. We don't. We never do. Right. And there's also like a small amount of things that we will spend our money on. Mm -hmm. And when I say spend our money, I mean like $30. Oh, 
like not like because there's so many things that I want to do to my blue truck if y'all haven't mm -hmm. seen check it out and I just can't bring myself to do it because I'm like I'm not paying two hundred dollars for that yeah you know right even though like cars and trucks is like that's like my thing you mm -hmm. know it's like my hobby it's what I like doing but I still don't want to do it like two hundred dollars I know you know and like for me I'll there'll be Amazon you know you can find cheap stuff on there I'll have a cart full of things and then I'll just never will do it and they'll all like expire. Yeah, just because you love Jesus, Chick fil A is your favorite restaurant. <laughs> well, I love Jesus, but no doubt. That's not why Chick fil A is my favorite. I yeah. love Chick fil A, but Chick fil A is my favorite fast food. <clears throat> I think it's just, I could eat Chick fil A for breakfast, lunch, dinner. Chick fil A is definitely our favorite fast food. Yes. I don't know about total restaurant. What, yeah, I don't know what our favorite, what would you say your favorite restaurant? I don't restaurant? really have one. I don't have one like right I now. like. I love Mexican There's food. There's pretty much no food Chips that I don't pepper. like. So, mm -hmm. I just find, I just can eat anywhere. We had a short engagement. Wrong. Yeah. A year, year and a half. half. It was so long. <sighs> Whenever you know something's coming, like it's planned, but you always feel like you don't feel like it's ever going to happen because it's never going to get here. Right. Remember, we always thought that. We were like, we want to get married. We're never going to get married. We just can't ever. Yeah. It's never going to happen. Yeah. Would you go get me some water? Okay. Yeah, I'm thirsty too. I'm dying. Okay. This is our doodle. If you haven't seen our doodle, her name is Dolly. After, of course, Dolly Parton. She is a mini golden doodle, and she's very sweet. She's crazy, though. I'm ready to brush my teeth. I feel like I'm chewing on a t-shirt over here. <laughs> <laughs> it's disgusting. I know. Ew. It's terrible. Because you're Southern, you or Hunter hunts. I do not hunt. You have been. I've been, but I don't hunt. I do hunt occasionally. It makes me sad. I love venison meat. Like, do yeah, it, but I do too. It makes me sad. I want another baby soon. One, two, three. No. Heck no. You guys aren't insecure at all. Ooh, I'm very insecure. I'm a very insecure person. I'm always reminded that where my confidence comes from. I'm not insecure in the ways of insecure about hunter with looking at another girl or something like that it's like my own insecurities the typical yeah you don't like the way you look or you yeah see changes in yourself and yeah would you say you're insecure not really maybe occasionally what makes you insecure i don't know is it something i do no hunter picks too much Definitely, Devin would definitely say yes. That is you. so true. He picks all the time. And sometimes, like, if I'm in a playful mood, it don't bother me. But sometimes I'm like, stop playing. Like, I because joke around like, with Devin all the time. But she thinks I'm being serious. Like, you would think by now that she knows that I'm just, like, messing with her. Because I'll say something just in my normal voice like this. Instead and of talking in, like, him. a silly voice or whatever. See, yeah. And then she thinks I'm being serious. Yeah. I need I'm him not. to talk in his silly voice when he's picking because... Or else I'm like... <laughs> you hurt my feelings. Obviously. Negative comments hurt your feelings. They, it comes and goes. There's some days where it'll it just hurt my feelings real bad. Yeah. But I've gotten to the point, like we'll post, like mainly on TikTok, that's where we get the most comments. Yeah. So if we post a TikTok, we have a system where like we'll post it and then we'll stay on there for like 10 minutes and reply to all the comments mm. that come on there. And then now periodically we might go back to see how it's doing and reply yeah. to a few. But at that point, I used to read them all day, but then right. I got my feelings hurt real bad, yeah. and now yeah. I don't. Yeah, my feelings get hurt. It depends on the day. There are some days where I'm like, oh, they don't know me. It's fine. Yeah. And other days, I take it really personal. Who do you think God gave you this platform? Absolutely. Yes. And I say that, elaborate a little bit. I have always felt like I was supposed to do social media, and then I felt like it didn't make any sense, but I just was didn't feel led to go back to work like to do PTA that I got my college degree in yeah. and then I just I always told Hunter like I mean we were living paycheck to paycheck he was working overtime just so we weren't feeling like we were drowning yeah. and then I always was like babe it's gonna happen like we're gonna get our break like I feel it I feel led to do it and then I literally just felt him say like surrender it to me and for months, I always said that. I was like, I feel like if I just surrender it to him, yeah. he's going to make it grow. And I told you that so many times, but I didn't know what that looked like for me. And so it was the beginning of January. I 
was at a stop sign and I said a prayer. I was like, Jesus, I said, I really feel like I'm supposed to do this. As silly as it sounds, I know. It don't make sense to people, but it's my story. I said, will you please just like grow it? We will give it back to you. Like we will devote it to you, whatever. All glory to you. And then that was when our mustache video went viral and then just happened. Yep. So it's crazy. You guys don't like making content. We Wrong. definitely do. We love it. Hunter can never tell you no. That's not true. It's hard for me to tell her no. But it also depends on the situation. When is the time you really told me no? I feel like recently. Yeah. And I remember I was shocked. Yeah. But there are some times where I'm like, oh, he is really telling me no. Yeah, like the the Home Goods pillow TikTok. Like I was literally, I was like really telling her no. Because you just sit there and like, but, 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 but. Usually it's just easier for me to like, okay, buy the freaking pillow. Yeah. Fine. Devin is a sweetheart that makes everyone feel the love. I would say, yes, that's true. I've only seen like one person that like, is just rude to you. Who? The freaking lady the other oh, day. Oh gosh, that shocked me. If people I've are- I've never been treated that way before. No, people, I mean, Devin just has this personality that I think, this is my opinion, everybody's just drawn to her. Like in a Aww. way, because you're just so sweet. Like she's just sweet. so like kind hearted and nice and like calming and Aww. like you have so many good qualities, you know? So you have, <laughs> you're making me I think cry. people like are just naturally drawn to you. And that's Aww. my, like, I mean, that's my honest opinion. Like I'm not oh, I really, that's, saying I, that for. No, I can tell you're being yeah. really honest. I really, oh babe, that's so <clears> sweet. <throat> You're welcome. So, but anyway, so when people treat her badly or say negative things to her, I'm just like, you have no idea. <laughs> You're sweet. You know what I mean? I mean, if anybody thinks like negatively of you, they obviously don't actually know you. Oh, that makes me feel good. You guys don't drink alcohol even before Ivy. I Devin hardly ever. ever. She may have. She may drink like a couple of times a year. Okay glass of wine or something right and that's pretty much it i drink i mean i drink more often than that but not often for me personally it's, the reason i really don't anymore is because it's the it's so confusing and yeah. it causes too much yeah friction i feel like in right. the christian community and just for other people on the outside looking in yeah and it's just this huge thing yeah. you know and yeah. I really believe it's like personal conviction says it is a sin to drink to get drunk. It's not that we try to hide it, but right. I would never go out in public because personally I would be convicted that I'm causing somebody else to stumble. You don't want to cause somebody else to stumble. And the Bible specifically says that. Yeah. I've gotten to the point where I'd rather just not do it and that way it doesn't cause confusion. Typically in like a more private setting. Yeah, not whatever. really in public. Y'all are able to buy what you want most of the time. We kind of already answered this. But the answer is no. No. A little bit about our financial history. When we got married, I was working a job. I made like three hundred dollars a week. Devin was full time student in college. We just paid our bills, and that was it, basically. We were blessed, though. With we were blessed. Help. We were helped with uh, yeah. finding a house with a house. Yes. 100%. So that helped we were a lot. Yes, that made a huge difference. Then I got hired at the fire department, which was obviously paid a little bit more. Then Devin got a job. And then at that point, we really did pretty much, we were able to buy whatever we Everyone. wanted. We went on vacation. We did a lot of fun things. Then you got pregnant. We decided we wanted you to be a stay at home mom. So then we kind of cut back, mm -hmm. obviously. And we didn't really buy yeah. anything. Small things, yes, but like, no, we can't just go buy, like, I want a new iPad. But social media is picking up. Need shoes, and so we are super blessed and excited yep. about the changes that are going to come. Yep to benef help benefit us financially and all that. We're so thankful for you guys. We are so thankful. Like it's the camera. wild. We got the camera now yes. because of y'all. Like, it is like our life is about to change for the better. Yeah. And things that we've never experienced. And like, I've seen a few comments, you know, think we came for money and stuff. And it is quite the opposite. Like, yeah. For me personally, like I grew up, we just had a big family. So we weren't able to get the things the nice things yeah. and all that blessed in the way of love and family yeah. but not money wise right. i have worked since i was little a little girl i helped yeah. mom at the restaurant and then i was always working and so mm -hmm. to finally be able to breathe a little bit yeah. like knowing we're going to make money with doing social media yeah is 
such a blessing. Yeah. And it's thanks to y'all. So yeah. like, I can't, it's wild. I just, yeah. I can't believe like this is our life right now. Like yeah. everything happening and it's, yeah. it's crazy. Especially between college and work. We both pretty much worked full time. We're always full time doing something. And we did that because we knew we wanted to be together. We wanted, we, we knew we wanted that. to get married long, or get married young. So we sacrificed that time and it was worth it. Yeah, our journey's like yeah. starting out with this now and we're so thankful for you guys, seriously. Definitely. Oh, okay. Well, we're gonna, we're wrapping those assumptions up. Did you say consumption? Assumption. <laughs> All right, people, thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. If you have any video ideas, leave them in the comments below. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Peace.